everybody this is Carla with the K in my video on my underground quilt winter dream with and pull mods tarp here is a screenshot of their website so you can access your order status from here I didn't quite know about this so I'm telling you you can see your order arrived awaiting production when it's finally in production and then um, when you get the email as well that it has shipped with the tracking info you can also watch the underground television. This is Missy. She is working. That's her working on my tarp right there. And then she moves tables and she adds the grommets and the snaps on it. And then uh, hard at work. <laughs> I loved being able to see when they were working on my exact tarp. And here she is wrapping it up and getting it shipped. In the meantime, while I'm waiting, I worked on guy lines. I use reflective paracord that I got from Amazon and I tried my guy lines. You need eight guy lines and I didn't, I took the shot cord off. <laughs> I also made a new ridge line organizer with this organza fabric from Joann's because I thought it was really funky and cool. Okay, so this is what I don't get. It says, <laughs> do not use blade to open so how are you supposed to open a box they don't want you to blade? cut the thing they don't want so you so I have been like really careful to make sure that I am not cutting the tarp inside I saw her like making on the video. Oh, oh, it looks way more purple, way more purple than what I first would have thought because it looks black. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Gosh, look at that. Can you see, can you see like how purple in the light? Um, yes, it's hard though from my angle because I have the sun at my back. Yeah. But. So can you see from underneath? Does that show? Yeah, that's better because the sun's coming through. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. So that's what I'm gonna go set up at the park. Woo! Okay, I like. This is just a picture to show the purple haze color because I couldn't find pictures or video anywhere online to really show what the purple haze color of material looked like. All right, so here we are with my tarp set up at my local park on a really, really, really windy day. I wanted to get a chance to see what the color kind of looked like all spread out. I did not have the pull mods at this point, but I just wanted to stake it out and really get a, a close-up color. I also wanted to get some details. So here are the snaps. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five snaps on the end of the doors. And here you can see how the grow grain ribbon along with those two rings on each you can take take a take a gander and see now my you can see my cat um pet carriers is kind of poking through the tarp but um i really liked how the light came through with this color i was really happy with purple haze um just to show you here are the end pull mods with the grommets that were put in so once I get my poles, I'll be able to, to really see what this looks like. Um, where, where's the cat? Oh, there's my neighbor and my cat. Hi, Kispa. Oh, look, she gave him a kiss. She loves him too. Okay, sorry, I get distracted by my cat. So let's get back to the tarp. All right, purple haze tarp. I kind of want to name it like Prince or Paisley Palace or something purple or cool like that. Man, this is gorgeous from the inside. I'm in love with this. All right, this is great. Okay, woo, now I just want my poles to come. I have to be patient, I'm not very patient. Okay, well, you guys are probably done admiring my cool color as well, but it's fabulous. 
Man, I'm so in love with this. And here's what it kind of looks like exactly. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it in the sun. It looks really dark black from the video, but thank you underground quilts for my new tarp. I'm loving it. Oh, here's my cat being patient while I set my tarp up. Another still shot just to really admire the beauty of my new tarp. I'm sure when you get yours, you'll love it too. Maybe not as much as I love mine. So uh, I do use snake skins when I'm putting the tarp away. And I'll show you my suspension. So on this end, I, I have a titanium Dutch truck on my gray, I think it's lash it, gray lash it. And I use the Namaclaws. These guys in Michigan showed them off and I don't like that the, the hooks there, those rings don't ma max mesh in there very nicely. I think this one, only one of them is actually hooked. I might come up with a little better system to hook them into the Namaclaws. And yeah, I use three on the ridge line. And that's how I tie off to the other tree. But it's a system that works really well. I'm loving it. Okay, back and it's really windy. I have now gotten my pole mods. I haven't put them in. I really wanted to measure and see like how, since it's windy again at the park, how much difference these pole mods are gonna make. Do you see how, how indented it is on this side? And it's almost like pressed up against my hammock. And then the opposite, the left hand side, I guess, is like really billowed, billowed out. So I want to be able to really measure like how, how much difference do these pole mods make? Because this is really new for me. So the poles are in. You can see that it is just hammering on the tarp. But look at how great it's looking. I have not actually added the shot cord onto the poles to keep them steady. I, and now I have on the one, so you can see it's no longer resting on my ridge line. The second one is still resting on my ridge line because I haven't added that shot cord yet. So here's just a still frame. <sighs> Look at how pretty that is. Gosh, it's gorgeous. I didn't go with the center pole mod, just the ends. And here's where they're both tied out. So much room. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let's take a little video of that. You know, when I'm laying here, as the sun's coming through, it gives off a real rainbow. This is very, very soothing. I like it. Oh, one last thing. You have to sign for this package. So make sure it's sent to a good address where you can sign for it. I went to the post office, filled out a form, had my neighbor sign for it. Make sure you read the email from Underground Quilts. Uh, special thank you shout outs to Polymissia Underground Quilts, to Orange Tarp Eli, to Franklin, to my neighbor Jane, to the Milwaukee County Parks and Trees, and my cat Kizma. Thank you everybody for watching.